Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video with us here at LMDN STEM Academy. In this video, we will be continuing our work on the Cape Chemistry Unit 1 Paper 2 from June 2023. We're still in Module 1, and now we're at Question 1, Part F. It reads, a yellow precipitate is formed when silver nitrate solution acidified with dilute nitric acid is added to an aqueous solution containing iodide ions. And in part one, they're asking us to write the simplest ionic equation for the formation of the yellow precipitate. Okay, so what we do know at this point is that if we have a silver nitrate solution that's acidified with dilute nitric acid, and there's a solution containing iodide, the silver and the iodide are going to go together to form silver iodide. And so that's exactly what we're showing here, okay? So the silver portion, right, the silver ion from the silver nitrate is going to combine with those iodide ions that are in that aqueous solution to give us silver iodide solid, okay? So that's the simplest ionic equation that we could come up with for that one. And that is two marks, provided that we have our correct state symbols and we only show the ions that took part in the reaction, okay? Which are these ones shown here, okay? So part two asks us to state the result observed when concentrated ammonia solution is added to this yellow precipitate. Now it's important to point out from up here, part one, that it's the silver iodide solution that is the yellow precipitate. It's an insoluble precipitate, okay? And so what's gonna happen if we add concentrated ammonia solution to that yellow silver iodide precipitate? Nothing is gonna happen, okay? So the yellow precipitate is gonna remain insoluble. Silver iodide does not dissolve when you had any level of concentrated ammonia to it, right? It's just not going to dissolve. It's going to remain insoluble, so you'll still see your yellow precipitate, okay? Thirdly, they're asking us to state why the silver nitrate solution is acidified when testing for iodide ions. Like, why do we need to have, have this acidified with dilute nitric acid there? Well... Here's why we acidify things when we're testing them. The silver nitrate solution is acidified in order to remove any soluble contaminating carbonates or hydroxides that might be present right in this solution, in this mixture here, um, or in the nitrate solution. Any of these solutions that could potentially have any carbonates or hydroxide in them, we're gonna acidify the solution because these carbonates or hydroxide, if they're present, they may also form insoluble silver compounds themselves. And so we wouldn't be able to say definitively, right, that we have a yellow precipitate because these guys would be competing, right, in terms of the precipitates that we see if they were present. So by adding the dilute nitric acid, we get rid of anything else that could interfere with our um, determination of the iodide ions, okay? So that's the reason for acidification, and that is one mark. Okay, so now we're moving on to the, the fourth part of this question, still in part F, question 1F. The fourth part is saying, explain why dilute hydrochloric acid is not used to acidify the silver nitrate solution in this test for iodide ions. So remember now, previously, what, what did we use for acidification? We had used dilute nitric acid for acidification. We don't use HCl. Why? We don't use dilute HCl because it has chloride ions in it, right? The HCl would have chloride ions in it, and those chloride ions that are present in the dilute HCl would compete, right? They would compete and win the iodide ions for the silver. And so we would end up forming silver chloride instead of silver iodide, which is not what we want to do, right? So we don't use dilute HCl. We use dilute um, nitric acid, and that would help us to, you know, 
make everything clear for us when we're making our determination as to what's present in that solution, okay? So if we use a dilute HCl, we wouldn't see that characteristic yellow precipitate from AGI being formed because silver chloride is what would be formed, okay? So that's why. All right. So part G. Part G says... Describe the result observed when chlorine water, so that's aqueous chlorine, is added to a solution of potassium bromide followed by aqueous silver nitrate. So we're showing a two-step process here, okay? In the first step, we are adding chlorine water to potassium bromide. That's an aqueous solution. And when we do that, the chlorine is going to kick out the bromide ion and take its place beside the potassium. So we get KCl. And then the because the bromine gets kicked out, it becomes just your diatomic bromine gas, okay? And when that happens, we're going to see a, the solution turn orange or reddish brown because Br is formed, okay? So the chlorine is going to kick out the Br takes its place to form KCl, and then we get Br2, as this guy here gets oxidized to Br2, okay? And so we see a reddish brown color. The second step, in the second step, after we've done this and formed our KCl and our Br2, we're gonna then add aqueous silver nitrate, okay? And that's step two. So when we add the aqueous silver nitrate to the KCl that was formed, we're gonna get now that the um the chlorine comes in here, kicks out the nitrate ion, and we get AgCl forming and KNO3, potassium nitrate, right? And so when that happens, remember AgCl, this guy here is a white precipitate, and so we will see a white precipitate being formed, a silver chloride is formed, okay? So again. KCl and AgNO3, the Cl is going to come in, kick out the NO3, take its place beside the silver, thereby forming AgCl. And then now the K is going to combine with the NO3. And so we get KNO3. We'll see a white precipitate because silver chloride is formed. And with that, we are completely done with question one. Okay, definitely like this video. Drop a comment below to let us know if this was useful for you. And finally, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell so that you'll be the very first to know when we upload new content. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.